Hi for everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll try to explain the solution of this problem that I found the one of the hardest problems of the book Ahmed Demir. So let's get started. But before starting, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, press the like button. Okay, we're seeing that EC is a detector here, alpha and alpha, we can say. And this angle will be pi over 2 minus alpha. This angle will be also pi over 2 minus alpha. And uh, the angle ADC will be also pi over 2 minus alpha, which means that the ADE is an isosceles triangle. And here we can see that AE and AD will be equal. So it will be 6. And the next step is to know that this angle will be 2 alpha. It is not so hard. We, we are subtracting from pi these two angles and we are get, getting 2 alpha. And here, by using uh, cosine's law, we can find out the angle, the cosine 2 alpha here that we need. So 16, uh, 16 will be equal to 36 plus 36. If you don't know, you can search in a Google the law of cosines. You will find out the formula. And I'm using this formula. Here, minus 2 times 6 times 6 cosine to alpha it will be. And from here we can find a cosine to alpha 2 times 6 times 6 will be 72 cosine to alpha will be equal to if we will subtract from the both sides um, 16 here we can get this is 72 72 minus 16 it will be 56 and here cosine to alpha will be equal to if we will divide it by 72 we we'll get 56 over 72. I'm doing it shortly. It's not so hard about so. And here, if we will divide it by 8, we'll get 7 over 9. And it means that it, it is equal to 7y over 9y. It is a constant number, y. We can put in a letter. So I wrote it. Why is it so? I'll explain later. Here in a triangle ABC, we can see that this angle is 2 alpha, and here we can see the cosine 2 alpha, cosine of this angle. And we know that cosine of this angle 2 alpha is equal to here uh, from the Pythagorean concept, uh, from the concept of a right angle triangle. We can say that this will be BC over AC. And here we know that this is also equal to 7y over 9y. So we can write down uh, this BC side as 7y and the AC side as 9y. And uh, next step is to know the concept of a bisector. Let me copy this one. It will be obvious. Here, if we will use the concept of the bisector from the triangle ABC, we can see that BE times 9Y will be equal to 6 times 7Y. Here we can divide both sides by 9Y and we can get BE, that BE will be equal to 6 times 7Y over 9y. We can cancel y and y and we can divide by 3. We'll get 2. We can cancel the numerator and denominator by 3. It will be 2 times 7 over 3. It will be 14 over 3. We found BE and here from the Pythagorean theorem, we can find out why. From the triangle ABC, we can see that 
B A B let me find out A B here 6 plus 14 over 3 it will be 32 over 3 A B found it and we will square it 32 over 3 squared plus 7y squared is, is 49y squared will be equal to 9y squared is 81y squared we can subtract from both sides this 49y squared and we'll get here 32y squared in the right side and in the left side we'll write down uh, the this expression and we can take a uh, square root of these two expressions and we'll get here square root of 32 y will be equal to 32 over 3 as it is a geometric problem i'm not writing plus minus because the sides are always positive so i believe you understood we can divide both sides by square root of 32 and we'll get here 32 over 3 square root of 3 times square root of 32 and we know that 32 is a square root of 32 squared and we can cancel one of them here and we'll get here square root of 32 we can write down it like 4 times square root of 2 over 3 that is 2 we found y and in order to find out x uh, we we have to find out the ac side ac let me write out here ac is 9 times y and we can plug the value that we found 9 times 4 square root of 2 over 3 and we can get here 12 square root of 2 and from the triangle D A we can find out the x I'll write down the shortly the uh, theorem of Pythagorean so it will be 6 squared let me write down here 6 squared plus here 9 y squared is a squared it will be 288 here let me write 36 plus 288 will be equal to here 4 plus x squared x plus 4 squared it doesn't matter squared and x plus 4 squared will be equal to if we we'll have here uh we can get 324 which is the square of 18 and we can take a square root again here and we'll get x plus 4 will be equal to here we could write plus minus but if we write down minus so we'll get a negative number so it will be plus 18 and x will be equal to 14 if we we'll subtract from the both sides 4 and we can see that this is the correct answer if you like the solution do not forget to subscribe to my channel and press the like button and you can